any of you who are in the Ed Parker system, Ed Parker American Kempo is one of the most sophisticated and the most, I would say, systematically designed system in the world. I was very, very impressed. I had a chance to study Shodokan, Gojuru, Kyoko Shikai, and, uh, but the system, American system, is, is not only beautiful, but also scientifically correct. And uh, I want you to realize that. And it is artistic, it is scientific, it is well, Choreograph well presented system. It was the first American commercial system in California, Kempo, and it spread. Because of Kempo, many people began to follow. Please keep this man out. You wear a Kempo pants, wear it with great pride. I have one too. When I studied martial art, you always look for the premise. <coughs> What is the premise of that system? What is the premise of Kempo? What is the premise of Ishiru? What is the premise of Gojo Ru? What is the premise of American Kempo? What is the premise of Jolui's system? So as a Kempo man, you have to go back and say, what is the premise that Ed Parker system that we treasure, we, we treasure? You will find that when Tom and Phil come to my house, I have an Ed Parker picture there. We will always bow to it before we perform, right? Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah, sir. So when we study Taekwondo or Bando or Ishinro, whatever it is you study, if you look at the premise, is that premise fit your value system? Does it fit your way, the way that you think? Because if you do not fit the way you think, it's very difficult to embrace it, you know? A martial arts system, you have to embrace it. You gotta drink it, you gotta digest it. It becomes part of, part of you. It becomes your life. So Kempo, to many people, become part of your life. That man to me is a genius, American genius. And you should be proud that you study Kempo. And I'm very proud that I had a privilege of knowing the man.